Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Unlike previous versions of Acrobat, toolbars only appear within the document view. All the toolbars that are not opened by using either the Tools Pane or Tools View appear within a single toolbar underneath the tab Documents bar by default. Toolbars added to the document view from the Tools Pane or Tools View instead appear as yet another toolbar beneath the main toolbar in the document view. By default, after opening the document view, you will see the main toolbar appear underneath the tab Documents bar. The buttons within this toolbar appear within three groups by default. The button groups are separated by dividing lines within the main toolbar. The two button groups at its left end contain buttons that are collectively called the Common Tools Toolbar Buttons. These two button groups contain commonly used buttons in Acrobat. We will look at customizing the buttons within the Common Tools Toolbar in a later lesson of this chapter. To the right of the Common Tools Toolbar Buttons are the Page Control Toolbar Buttons. These buttons control commonly used page navigation features. Unlike the other buttons in the main toolbar, you can click the Move Page Controls out of Toolbar button at the right end of this button group to pop these buttons out of the main toolbar and then have them appear over the bottom of the PDF in the document view. When over the PDF, this toolbar disappears after a while if you don't move your mouse pointer on screen. You can move your mouse pointer on screen to make it reappear again. To place these buttons back into the main toolbar, Click the Move Page Controls into Toolbar button at its right end. The buttons within the Page Controls toolbar cannot be customized. There are two other toolbars that you can choose to show in the main toolbar. They are the Quick Tools toolbar and the Recently Used Tools toolbar. One way to show these toolbars is to right-click in the blank or empty area towards the right end of the main toolbar to open a pop-up or contextual menu of choices. Alternatively, select View, Show Hide, Toolbar Items from the menu bar. After performing either task, then either click the Show Quick Tools or Show Recently Used Tools command from the pop-up menu to add the respective toolbar to the right end of the main toolbar. The Quick Tools toolbar is fully customizable. You can add buttons to this toolbar for the features and functions you want to always have available. Customizing the Quick Tools toolbar is discussed in a separate lesson. The Recently Used Tools toolbar simply shows your most recently used tools. This toolbar changes as you select tools, but is not otherwise customizable. Apart from the main toolbar, you will see toolbars appear under the main toolbar for tool sets that you open from either the Tools Pane or the Tools View. When opening any of these toolbars, they appear under the main toolbar and replace the previous tool set toolbar shown if any were previously opened. At the left end of the toolbar is the icon and name of the toolset. Towards the right end are the buttons within the toolset, followed by an X button that you can click to close the toolbar. To switch the toolset toolbar shown, click the current toolset name at the left end of the toolbar, and then select the toolset to show in the toolbar from the drop down menu. To return to the document and close the toolbar, select the Back to Document command from the same drop down menu instead. You cannot customize the buttons shown in the toolset toolbars, but you can show or hide button labels for the currently displayed toolset toolbar. To do this, right click in the blank or empty area of the toolset toolbar to show a pop up menu. Then select the Show All Labels command in the pop up menu to toggle the display of the button's labels on or off. Alternatively, you can select View, Show Hide, button labels from the menu bar to toggle the display of button labels in the current toolset toolbar on or off. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.